Hey everybody, Freddy here with another video. Today I'm doing an update video of the SonicWall to Azure VPN connectivity. I know that I already have another video that talks about how to make this connection, but it's an old SonicWall OS. Now I'm updating it with a new OS 7.0. Uh, so if you have a SonicWall TZ370 or anything like that, this video is going to help you create that connection. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. So let's get to it. All right, everybody. As always, first of all, we're going to talk about the architecture and how we're going to set this up. So the architecture is very simple. And if you've watched the other video where I explained the sonic wall and how to connect the sonic wall, it's pretty much similar. Uh, the only difference is that now we're going to be looking at the sonic OS 7, which is a little bit different. Sonic wall has made changes to the firewall OS. And in reality, they have made it much easier for us to configure the, the sonic wall. Uh, so what we have here is we're going to have a VNet which is in the 10.0000 slash 16. And we're going to have a production subnet. We're going to set up a VM uh, with this IP address. And we're going to have to have a gateway subnet where our VPN virtual network gateway is going to go into. And we need to create a local gateway here as well, which is going to point to the sonic wall. So that is pretty much the idea. And then we have a laptop that is here on the 192.168.5.123, which is in the home office. And so that VPN connection is going to create a tunnel to the Azure environment. And the idea is that we're going to be able to ping from this laptop. We're going to be able to ping this VM and we're going to be able to connect through SSH. So like I said, SonicWall has made some changes to the OS. So it's going to be much easier than the previous OS that I showed you in the other video. So. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, so on the Azure side, this is what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to create a VNet, which I already created. We're going to create a production subnet, which is in the 10.000 slash 24. And we're going to add a gateway subnet as well, because we need a, a gateway subnet in order to have a virtual network gateway. Without a gateway subnet, we cannot have a virtual network gateway. And we're going to add a local network gateway which is going to point to the IP address of the sonic wall on-prem. And then we're going to, while we're creating the local network gateway, we're going to add the home office network, which is the 192.168.5.0 24. Uh, and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a connection to the virtual network gateway. Uh, we're going to use a pre-shared key that we're going to use at the uh, sonic wall side as well. And then we're going to download the sample configuration, which is what we're going to use um, on prem on the sonic wall on the home office side what we're going to do is we're going to log into the sonic wall we're going to create a new vpn connection using the downloaded configuration uh, we're going to use the uh, phase one settings which i'm going to show you and then i'm going to use the phase two settings which, which i'm going to show you as well we're going to use the pre-shared key and then we're going to be able to ping the other side of the tunnel Okay, let's look at the architecture one more time. On the architecture side, we're, what we're going to do now is we're going to see if we have already everything in place for the Azure side. So we're going to be focusing on this side. So I'm going to move the architecture to the side here so we can have it. And so we're going to look at the Azure side. Again, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the uh, configuration. So we need a VNet. So we're going to go to the virtual networks. And I have a VNet here that I am going to use called Sonic Wall. I'm going to have a subnet, which I said that I was going to call production subnet. I'm going to call it Sonic Wall VNet. This is going to be my production subnet 10.0.0.0 slash 24, as it is in the diagram. And I have my gateway subnet as well, which is the 10.0.1.0. slash 24. If you don't know how to create those subnets, you can check out the other video where I talk about the Sonic Wall, the previous OS. And I go through the steps on how to create the subnets. In this video, I'm not going to go through it just because I have done it in the other video already. And just to make this video a little, a little bit shorter. So that I have my two subnets here, as you can see. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the virtual network gateways. So I'm going to click on this. I have a sonic wall test gateway that I created. The reason I created it here, again, if you haven't, if you know, if you don't know how to create a gateway, please watch the other video as well. 
um, it'll show you how to do this. It takes uh, it takes about 30 minutes once you start creating it. So this is the reason why I decided to um, to create it prior to starting this video. So here's my checklist of things that I need to do. Create a VNet, I did. Create a production subnet, I did. Add a gateway, I did. And then add a local network gateway. So we're gonna go into local network gateway. If you don't have it in the list, you can always just um, you know search for it. Local network gateway. You add a local network gateway. What this is, this is just a pointer to your sonic wall. Here is the IP address of the sonic wall. This is where you have to figure out what your IP address is on the sonic wall. If you don't know what that IP address is, there's ways to find it. You can do, if you're inside of the network like I am, you can always say what is, go, go to a browser like Bing or Google and just type what is my IP v4 and that'll give you your IP address. But just make sure that you point to the right IP address of the sonic wall. If you're not pointing to the right IP address, you're not gonna be able to make that connection. Now, the next thing is this address space. And this is what the next step is here in the home office of network. Uh, and this, in my case, is 192.168.5.0 slash 24. And that's the address space that I would add here. 192.168.5.0 slash 24. I already created a local gateway here, which is this one. I call that FMD house just because it's my house, it's my home office. So I click here and what it tells me is the IP address of my sonic wall and then the address space, which is the 192.168.5.0 slash 24. So the next thing is add a connection to the virtual network. So we're gonna go to the virtual network gateway. We're gonna click on connections here and we are going to add a connection you select the resource group, the connection type is going to be a site-to-site -site IPsec tunnel. You give it a name, uh, West US 3 is fine, then the settings. Here's where I select the virtual network gateway. I only have one, which is the one that I created. And then I have to select the local network gateway. If you haven't created this, you're not gonna have any option here. So you have to exit and, re and create it. That's the reason why in the checklist at a local network gateway is before you create the connection so here is fmd house and then you have to use the pre you have to select a pre-shared key i'm just going to use password one two three four exclamation mark and i ike version two and i'm not going to enable bgp and ipsec um the ike policy is going to be the default all this information is going to be in the in, when we download the configuration, the sample configuration. So we're going to just leave everything else as is. And we're going to go ahead and review and create. Okay, now that we have uh, completed that configuration, we are going to go to the resource. And here is download configuration. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. Uh, choose a vendor. I usually just go with Ubiquiti. It doesn't really matter which one you choose. Uh, Edge router and the one that I choose is the one without the BGP, which is this one right here. And download configuration. Download configuration and that's gonna give us this file here, which is the one that we're gonna to use to configure the, the firewall. So now let's go ahead and go back to the firewall. So this is the, the the firewall, I have a connection to the firewall at the moment. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a VPN connection. So we're gonna go to network up here and under IPsec VPN, first of all, just uh, because it's really nice to be able to see when things start to work. And I'm going to ping the 10.0.0.4. That is the Sonic Wall Test Linux IP address of this VM. It's right here, 10.0.0.4. Okay, so once I am able to configure the VPN tunnel, I should be able to ping this IP address. Right now, I'm not able to ping it. All right, so let's go back to the Sonic Wall. 
So let's go ahead and create this IPsec tunnel. So under rules and settings, right now by default you have two, which is the WAN group VPN and the WLAN group VPN. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new one. So we're gonna click add. And SonicWall made it a lot easier for us. If you saw the, if you watch the, the other video for the other OS, it was a little bit more complicated because you, after you had to, um, after you set up the, the configuration, you still had to go in there and set up the, the routing. For this one, you don't have to do that. You have to just configure it here and everything should be up and running right away. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a site-to-site -site VPN. Authentication method is gonna be IKE using pre-shared key. I'm gonna give it a name. Now I need the, the primary gateway name or address and the secondary. So this is where we get it, where we're gonna to go to the configuration that we downloaded. And right here is the IP addresses that we need to use. Right here, gateway, IPS, IP address. So what I can do is I can just take this, copy, paste. So it's 58 and 59. The shared secret is also here in this configuration. If you scroll down, you will see it right here. Data connection PSK is password one, two, three, four. And I can show it to you because I'm gonna erase it after this video. So it's not gonna work again. Uh, confirm shared secret, I'm gonna paste again. And that's about it on this page here. Then we're gonna go to network. Uh, the network is lo uh, choose local local network from the list. Here is going to be the LAN network. So let's go ahead and go down to the LAN, LAN subnets. And then uh, remote networks. Here is where we need to um, have a, an object. So here we're gonna say create a new address object. We're gonna give it a name. So the, 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 the location is going to be VPN, the type is going to be a network, and it's going to be the 10.0.0.0, and this one is 245.255.0.0. And then you click Save. Okay. One of the things that is interesting with this Sonic Wall is that it says that the, 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 the saves, the changes were saved, but it doesn't close this, so you have to manually close it. This is the one that we created, the Azure VNet. So this is the destination network from the list. And then we can go to proposals. Under proposals, this is where we're gonna use the other information that is part of this configuration file. Here, if you notice, it says phase one main mode. So here is phase one proposals. So the, um, the encryption algorithm is gonna be this IKE version two mode. Uh, the DH group is going to be group 2. The encryption is AES256 right here. So let's change this to AES256. SHA1, SHA1, which is already here. And, this, and, the, and the time, the lifetime is 3600 according to this configuration here. And then we go to phase 2. Phase 2 is right here. This is the configuration for phase two. And phase two is gonna be ESP and it's gonna be triple DES. And the, the authentication is going to be SH1 here. And the life, uh, lifetime is 3600 as well. Okay, so then we go to advanced under advanced, we're going to enable keep alive so the connection stays open. And then after that, the only other thing that we are going to check is this do not send trigger packets during IKESA negotiation. So we're going to enable that and that should, that should do it. So now let me open this ping here and I'm going to save it. Now, as you can see, there's a green dot right here. And this this green dot is the one that, that indicates if the tunnel is open. 
You can also look at this active tunnel here and you see that 2 Asher is active. And after a few seconds, you can see that the connection starts to work. It starts to, the, the, VP, the, the VM starts to reply using that internal IP address, the 10.0.0.4 internal IP address. So as you can see, um, Sonic Wall made it so much easier now with the new OS, just because you don't have to worry about creating a, a routing rule, because in the previous OS, after you create the tunnel, then at, after that you would still have to go in and create a routing rule that would that would tell the, the Sonic Wall where to send that traffic. Now you don't need to do that. So that's it. As you can see, Sonic Wall has made it much easier for us to do this configuration. So now you can just do it from one place and that connection takes place. So I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for staying all the way to the end of the video. If you have any suggestions for me, please leave them in the section down below. I'd love to hear from you and, and until next time, take care.